Hi, we're back. Uh, we were working on a Spark Post API client uh, with Guzzle. And before the break, we got to a point where we started from this current SDK code and got to a place where we can use new SDK code with a similar sort of, a similar set of options. And this actually works. This sent mail, I sent mail to myself and it works, which is awesome. Um, but there are a few things that we can improve. So code like this, we can abstract. Um, and let's do that now. Private function send. Uh, send, 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 send. Request is probably what we want. And method endpoint options. That seems fine. Because those are pretty much the only variable things. This base and this key gets um, pulled from properties. This is what we want to make dynamic. And this and this method name, method type, method type, the method type. And okay, so we need some parameters here. First is param string method. So that's the kind of request method that will be done. Uh, then we need string endpoint array of options, I'm thinking. And this will return an array because this will return whatever JSON and code returns. So we can take this and we can put it here. And we can also type hint options and leave it as a blank array to begin with. Oh, forgot to get chat up. Hi, chat. Okay, so um, this becomes dynamic here, as does this. That looks kind of okay. Now what we need to do is this request post transmissions options. And then we can delete all of that. Interesting. Let's send this out and see if it works. Okay, takes a little while, <laughs> or not. Gmail. Show me the mail. Show me that mail. It sent it. Woohoo! Check that out. Yay! Okay, it's pretty zoomed out because I have Gmail zoomed out because all of these windows are. Anyway, um, so that still works. Now we can do an interesting thing. I was thinking. Okay, we've we've abstracted this a little bit, and so we can have other methods. that specify their own default options and that do this stuff. So the stuff specific to each endpoint. But then what we can do is we can do proxies. This is interesting. So transmission, uh, tra transmission. What I was thinking here is that we can set up classes like this. Spark post API proxy. Class transmission. And these can have methods on them like public function create and we can use these as kinds of translators between the default set of properties. Like if we close this out, let me show you what I mean. Here we've got like a massive default set of properties, right? We've got recipients as a thing and we've got all these, but they're in a content property and we kind of need to know this makeup, right? And we're not validating it very well. We're just bundling this into whatever is supplied. Maybe create needs to add some validation, validate. I'm not going to do it now, of course, but, um, it's a good, this is an interesting place to do it. And 
on here we can also have public function uh, construct and this can accept a client and so this would use spark post api client and let's store it private client this client is client and so create would validate the properties in options and then what it would do is return this client request post transmissions that seems fine so what is this going to do get in it yes that seems fine okay gsc initial oh commit and then we also have to copy this again get promote add very cool so is this here dun, 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 dun. Okay, that stuff's there. Let's tweet about this. Let's tweet at these guys. It's super zoomed out, sorry. <laughs> I'll make it bigger again. <laughs> okay, uh, hey, Spark post. And I think with that, uh, I'm going to go and do other fun programming things off stream. So uh, thank you very much for being here and for, uh, I don't know, watching some scruffy nerd make PHP code. Uh, it's been a lot of fun doing this stuff and I'm looking forward to streams I do in the rest of the week. For instance, I may or may not do another compiler stream because I've been thinking a lot about uh, about a specific kind of language that I want to see or make a prototype of. So I may be doing that. It may be a normal daily or alternatively, it may be just one long continuous stream like I did with the Minecraft talk prep stuff uh, and the the working, the ORM stuff, which I have yet to upload, I think. Uh, so come check back here. If you want to know when these things go live, um, just follow me on Twitch and you'll get email notifications or on Twitter. Uh, both are assert Chris and um, then you'll probably hear when I go live um, other than that uh, thanks for being here and have a great night or day or whatever it is for you see you later